Now that we know the basics of how circuits work, let's make one. Now you may be wondering how we're going to make a circuit. Don't worry. Now come with me over to my desk and let's make our first circuit. Now just like in the previous video where we drew our electrical circuit, we're going to actually make a physical circuit um, using some of the items that you see here in front of you. Um, copper tape, which would be our path or, or act as uh, our wire. Um, we have our battery, which is a, a coin cell battery here. And we have our LED or a light bulb here. So you'll see. Um, and then we're just going to use this index card here as a base to create our circuit on. So one of the first things you want to do is take some sort of a marker um, or pencil. And what we're going to do is, um, because we have to lay the copper tape, we want to create or draw a path for it so that we can just kind of follow along. Um, now, so we'll probably want to just follow along here with me. We we'll want to start over on the right side here. Uh, and essentially, we're going to create the circuit that we saw in the previous video. Now, let's leave a gap there because we're going to leave a gap in our copper tape. And we can bring this back over here. Um, and then you want to draw some, like a dashed line. And you'll see what that's used for just in the corner there. Uh, you'll see what that's used for shortly. So now that we have our path that we want to follow with our copper tape, you want to take your copper tape and actually. Uh, you just peel off one end there so that we can start to lay it onto our paper. So it's like a sticker. And the best way to do this, um, we could potentially use four or five different uh, strips of copper tape and just lay them straight. But you get better results if you keep the copper tape as one piece. Not that it wouldn't work the other way, but it just works a lot easier if you kept it this way. The problem is though is that when you turn corners you may run into some issues, but uh, it's nothing that you can't get around. So let's go ahead and start our copper tape here and just follow the path around. So as you see as I lay it, I just press it down with my finger. Now when you get to a corner the easiest way that I've found to turn the corner is to take your copper tape, turn it the opposite, turn it the opposite direction you want to go, and then turn it back over and go in the direction you want to actually go. And again, just so peel it off as you move. And it doesn't have to be exactly on the path. It's just used as a guide. Again, opposite corner, opposite direction. And then bring it back. Opposite direction. Bring it back. And this is where I'm going to, at the gap in the path, I'm going to cut our copper tape. And since I only have one straight piece here, I'll go ahead and, uh, and run that last straight piece, straight section. Let me set the remaining copper tape off to the side.